All right, so how do we upload the files that we have on our local machine to the Git repository for the first time? Let's assume you have a file, something like uh, this. It could be a programming file or it could be an image or it could be a text file, any sort of a file. So how do you upload this to any Git repository, the remote repository? It can be, uh, the repository can be on the GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket, or anywhere else. So the concept and the commands gonna be same. So in my case, I'm gonna push this main.py and then this tomato image, the PNG file to the to the Git repository. So let's see how we can do that. So in order to achieve this, uh, basically we need three things. The first is Git or Git Bash. So just for a word of caution, if you are having all the setups and if you're only interested in the command please skip forward uh, to uh, to the to the place where I upload I mean where I literally start using the commands and upload um, the files to the git repository if not just keep watching the video it's going to be very quick so the first thing we need is the git, uh, git or uh, git bash so which is basically if you can go to the google and then download uh, git bash or git anything anyone would work so um git bash there you go so you can pick the one that suits for your uh windows if you're a windows user if it's mac go for the macbook um macbook so just click on that and uh, yeah so if you're windows go for windows um if if you are um a mac user go for the mac one so just get the one either git or uh, git bash uh, you can google it and you can find the one that suits you that that, that that suits your operating system and secondly so that's number one um, once that is done you go for the repository you have the setup the repository so in my case i have picked uh, i have my repository on the github so if you look at the github um just to to create um to create this sort of a repository basically let me sign in so once you sign in on the home page you might be seeing the plus on your uh the platform it could be the gitlab so you, you can see the new repository here just click on the new repository and give a name to the new repository so with that you're done and make sure you want this to be a public or private repository once you added all those files that that are necessary if not just update the mandatory options and click on create repository so once this is done you would get your repository created for you so what we want in that repository is basically so let me go to my repository so what we want in that is your link github link to the repository so let me copy this you have to copy the link uh, https i'm doing the https one not the ssh or github client so this is this is how you get it um, your repository name uh, okay this is the project one but literally this is how you get your repository name dot um, git let me show that by taking you to the git repository so this is my um, repository um, that I have uh, I've created within that I have a Python um, basics as a repository so if, if I go here these are all the repositories I have created so this code the the one I have on the local machine I'm going to upload it on the Python basics repository so in order to get the link go to the repository and click on code and copy this link so that's all we, we, we want uh, to complete this process so that's that's done and thirdly you need a files to upload which is already there on the folder which I just um, uh, shared which is these two files is what we are gonna uh, upload so which is basically these two files uh, over here so you can either do it via the git bash or if you have uh, any ID set up on your mission IDs like PyCharm you can do it directly here if you have a git installed in your mission so PyCharm basically comes with git so if you have PyCharm you can directly do it from here 
so now we're going to do the common one very generic one which anyone can use it without an id so go to the folder where you have the files that you want to upload to the remote repository and then right click go for git bash here so if you have installed the git bash properly you would get this option so click on git bash here so the first command that you have to pass um, to to initiate the git is git init so what this would do if you look at the folder here we have three um, files two files and one folder so this would initiate a dot uh, git file a configuration file on this folder which would track all the files that you add which would manage and make sure um, whichever which file that you want to pass it to the remote which would all this all those uh, things will be tracked with the git so this git we're going to do initiate will sit in the local machine uh, which will take care of the process of pushing the code to the remote so let's initiate the git so once the directory opens which is Pomara in my case and then I'm doing git in it yeah so if I go now you can see dot git folder is created so from now on the git will be properly tracking all the files that we we have and the second command uh, basically is to just to check the status but it's not necessary you can skip that status would give you the files that you have added which are not committed yet so these are the files that uh, they are the files which are not committed so and what we're going to add we're going to add the third command is git add we're going to add the files which we are interested in so i'm focusing mainly on as i said main.py so i'm copying main.py all right so that's main.py and then the other file i want is this tomato and then i'm going to paste that as well so now these two files are added to my um which which is nothing but these two files are ready to be staged so the next step is uh, git commit hyphen m so give a name for this particular uh, just add a message for this particular staging uh, Romadero uh, code here yeah. and then hit enter so now these are committed and once the committed commit is done is when you need to add your remote repository to your git so you're going to tell the git whatever you have committed are going to be added to this repository so this particular link the blue ones that you see you're going to get it from your github over here so if it's gitlab you will get it from the git and um, the format will end with the extension is dot git uh, for that link so since i'm i'm going to use the same uh, here it's same so i'm just going to copy paste that here paste it and hit enter so this would add my remote repository so now what's what's next so what i'm going to do next is to create a branch um with the name um and then i push that branch to the remote yeah right now this branch will be created locally for example just let me type git checkout hyphen b and then let's give a branch name um let's give a branch name for this let's say pomodoro so before i hit enter i'll explain you what what do i mean by that so you see these are the branches i have in this repository yeah so these are all the branches i have 
and there is no permanent to it so you have to create a branch like this uh, for example if I go to miles to kilometer branch I have a code uh, for miles to kilometer so if I go snake game I have a code for the snake game similarly you need to create a branch uh, before you push your code so I'm going to name my branch as Pomodoro so let's hit enter now you see we are switching from master to Pomerado successfully so once this is done once this is done now we're going to do git push um, hyphen u origin and then the Pomerado so what this this will do this will push your code to the remote branch yeah so now if I refresh here and then check the branch you see there is no Pomerado at created over here so let's let me see we wall branch yeah so there's nothing in the name of Pomodaro so what I'm gonna do is to push the branch to the remote so whatever the code we got we have uh, we have committed it and the code sits in the branch itself so we need to push it as we have just staged it it has to be pushed so the command for that is git push hyphen u origin and the branch name what's the branch name branch name is pomodoro so hit enter and now this would push all the code that we have in our local machine to the remote so once this is done a new branch is created in the remote as well now if i go here now if i refresh we should see a branch called pomodoro so if i click that you can see we have uh, two two different files uh, created uh, pushed uh, to the remote branch so this is how you need to push i'll leave these commands in the in the description section below give it a try hopefully it works for you as well thank you